will be studying about the components of economics. Number first component is your consumption. Consumption means a consumer buy goods and services in order to satisfy their wants in order to get the utility value from the consumption of goods and services. See, being a consumer or buyers of different goods and services, they satisfy their wants. People have limited means while their wants are unlimited. Their income is limited but their wants are unlimited. So here it arises the economic problem in the consumption activity that is your income is limited but your wants are unlimited. Now how you will allocate your income on the purchase of different goods and services is the study of consumption or the study of consumer behavior. Second is your production. Production is the process of converting raw material into your finished goods. Now, the capital of a producer is limited. You can say uh, area is limited or raw material is limited because you have limited money to invest. Right? So, there comes a problem when there are wide range of goods and services to choose from their farms and factories. Given prices of the different inputs, how do they choose such combinations which are least expensive? Also given price of different goods, how do they choose to produce those, the production of which offers them maximum revenue? And what the production producer wants? Maximizing profit? They want to maximize their profit. So they will choose those inputs which are less expensive. So in this case also the choosing of the in input and the capital is the economic problem. Now the third component is your distribution means how your income is distributed. See, your factors of production are you require land, labor, capital, means your investments, and entrepreneur, means your management. These are the four things that you require, and these are the factors of production. Now, for this factor of production, you need to make some payment. You need to do some expenditure in order to get these factors of production. For land, you pay rent. Labor, you pay wages. For capital, you pay interest. And for entrepreneur, what do you do? You pay the profit to the entrepreneurs. Right? So these are the factor of productions. These are the factor of payments. See, in this way, your income is generated. Your, you are giving your factor inputs and in return, the producer is giving you factor payments. So, in this way, the income is being distributed among the country. That uh, for labor, they gave the wages. So, labor... They use as a factor of production and to them they give the wages and this the income is generated in the economy. So I hope you have understood the three components of economics. Do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.